When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. And neither one of these teams are going to want to lose. This match may go on forever. here tonight. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Well, you're right there, JBO. Tag team contests in today's WWE are some of the best bouts in sports entertainment. All these tag team superstars are living in the shadow of the APA, but some of them carry themselves all right. Regardless, we and the rest of the WWE world are in for a night to remember. Plenty of fight left. You're right, this guy's still near 100%. Well, let's get your thoughts here on Fandango. In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? As you know, we're talking about someone with a lot of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. You gotta let talent like that shine on its own. And he kicks out before the referee's three count. Fandango's fancy footwork doesn't just make him an elite ballroom dancer. He's smooth in the ring with a mean streak a mile long. Fandango's training has given him an amazing level of agility, balance, and control that can see him fly off the top rope and rub his opponent's face in the mat. step by Fandango. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Fandango brings his unmatched precision and grace with him to the squared circle. His abilities enable him to anticipate what's going to happen in the ring and quickly move to launch his own attack. Don't let Fandango's lavish ensembles fool you. He's aggressive, resilient, and destructive. Yeah, you know the thing about Fandango, Michael, is that if he heard you say those things, he would thank you for the compliment. The only thing that might be greater than Fandango's love of self is the enjoyment he receives from punishing his opponents. He 
he's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie. He's wild in there. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. Just making his presence felt there. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Imagine what he's feeling, being deliberately deprived of oxygen by an opponent during a match. This is almost insufferable. No kidding, this is getting vicious. Whoa, take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love something new. Got the leg. Oh, what a painful submission. And he powers out. He's starting to feel it here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. There's a lot of truth in that statement, especially when referring to this guy, John. Fandango gets tagged in. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees a belt, he likes to hit below it. How high can you go? A knockdown, drag out brawl, complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. And now it's Fandango trying to build momentum. He's delivering an old-fashioned Kicking right here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Fandango turns it around. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Quick pin. Hey, is this it? Uh, it may be. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. You're right. He kicked out with ease. Looks like he's starting to tire. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. But there is no quit this guy. Trust me, this one's far from over. Unfortunately, loyalty isn't a trait owned by every competitor here in the WWE. But luckily, that's not the case here. Look at Jason Jordan. It's coming. Incredible move by Jason Jordan. I can't believe he can still go like that. Well, this might be the worst yet. All this demoralizing damage to Chad Gable. How can he take the upper hand here? Red amplitude! These guys are awesome. Yeah, that was devastating, all right. He did what he set out to do, and that was win.
Big win for Chad Gable. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.